day one, my beautiful friends. Go ahead and take a moment and get settled into your space. We're going to be low to the ground today. Oh, so take a moment and get situated. I'm going to be seated in cross-legged, but as always, I will recommend that you choose whatever is most comfortable for you. So if cross-legged is not comfy um, for this, feel free to move around too. You can always come to like a 90-90 if that's a little bit more comfortable. You can tuck your legs underneath you. You can just kind of be sitting like this. Whatever is most comfy. We're going to be here for the duration of today's series of movement. Because this is going to be a little bit of breath work, a little bit of belly breathing, box breathing. And then we're also going to do some neck tension. So this is a really yummy, really super extra gentle way that we're going to ease into this movement together, this 30 days of movement. And this is one of my favorites. So I decided it would be fun for day one. So as you are ready, we're going to go ahead and start with some deep breaths. And I want to do this on day one because this is something that we have to take through our movement every day after this in this series. And always, you know, I talk about breathing deeply a lot. I have a video on belly breath um, on the channel. And it's just super important for us to get the most out of our movement. And sometimes when we're in an awkward stretch that maybe doesn't feel so great, maybe that's a particularly tight part of the body, we might hold our breath, right? So that's what we're trying to avoid because you know when you take a deep breath, you exhale on that, that's when you're able to get further into a stretch, you're able to work through something if it feels difficult. The breathing is super important. We want to bring oxygen to the muscles. And also as far as emotional support and um, support for the nervous system goes, all of that good stuff, super, super important that we're breathing deeply. So enough of my blabbing. We're going to go ahead and start from cross-legged. I'm going to bring my hands to my knees. I am going to try to find this nice tall posture, but first we're going to forget about all of that and I'm going to have you purposely round your shoulders forward basically just kind of let go of your posture your head will come forward here as far forward as you like big breath in and on your exhale let everything relax let it all go take two more cycles of breath here as we just start to deepen the breath And on an inhale, I want you starting from the base of your spine, so your tailbone, try to imagine one vertebrae stacking up at a time as you come back up to a nice tall seat. Finally, your head will face forward again. Go ahead and roll shoulders back and down a couple of times. And then keep your shoulders rooted down. So imagine like somebody is pulling a string from the top of your head, there's this beautiful line from the top of your tailbone all the way up to the top of your head and including your neck. So tucking your chin slightly, take breath in, exhale out, amazing job. Now bringing your hands to your belly, we're gonna try to breathe into the belly. So rather than our shoulders lifting up, when we breathe, we want our hands on our belly to lift up. So we want to try to fill our belly with this breath, okay? So big inhale, hold it, and then exhale through your mouth. Inhale through the nose, hold it, and then exhale through your mouth. One more time, inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. 
amazing job. You can keep your hands on your belly if you want, if that's helpful. You can close your eyes if that feels right. We're gonna work through a little box breathing. So we're gonna do four counts in, four counts hold, four counts out, four counts hold. Big breath in through the nose, into your belly for four, two, one, hold, and exhale, two, one, and hold, inhale, and hold, and exhale through the mouth, and hold. One more time, inhale and hold. Exhale through the mouth, nice and slow. And hold. Amazing job. Hands can rest on your knees. Obviously, we're not always going to do a counted breath or a box breathing like that. Great tool if we need to kind of check in with our nervous system, bring those levels down a little bit. But using that big belly breath, we're going to maintain that as we bring left ear towards left shoulder, pull right shoulder down. You can bring your right palm or right fingertips down towards the floor, depending on how long your arms are. Maybe you can press into the floor. You'll feel this big, big stretch, most likely through the right neck and shoulder. Big breath in. Exhale it out. One more big belly breath in. And release that. We'll take it to the other side. Right ear towards right shoulder. Maybe incorporating that left palm. Pressing down into or towards the floor. And then take two cycles of breath on your own time. in your belly. Exhale through the mouth. Amazing job. We'll look towards the right shoulder. And then tuck your chin down. Bring it through center. Look over towards left shoulder. And then again to the other side. We'll do this two more times. Awesome. And then we're just going to do a gentle circle, drawing a circle with the nose, looking out any tight spots in the neck. And then reverse your circle. Beautiful. And take one more big breath in. Reach up. Exhale. Let it go. This was super, super brief. So repeat this video as you like, as you need to. I promise I would keep everything under 10 minutes. But I just wanted to establish that little tool that we can come to as we're stretching. Again, that counted breath can be super, super helpful, but especially that belly breath, breathing in through your nose, filling all sides of your belly, and then exhale through your mouth. That'll be so useful to add to your practice as we go through these stretches together the rest of the month. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for being with me this month, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow.